Hey guys, Long Haul Larry, and it's time to try to level some of these cracks off. That's how it's supposed to be done. I'm gonna sit here and watch these guys and supervise, supervise, and make them do it. Yeah, that's what you have kids for. <laughs> so what Allie is doing is trying to clean the floor, get everything off the floor, and then she's gonna go along and try to suck everything we can out of the crack. First part of that. And we got Tyler over there just sticking some junk wood because there, that's where it's going to be low. And we're going to pour that in there all the way across and we don't want it to run into the rafter board. So he's just putting up some junk wood. So that it, um, when he completely missed the board. And just so, just so it's there and then, he, and then when the concrete dries, We'll pull it back out. But just to keep all the concrete from running into that wall. So we're just prepping and getting ready. All right, guys, we've gotten all the cracks cleaned up. Everything's clean out of them. And wherever there is a spot where it goes way down, where the concrete will flow down and just go underneath this concrete floor, I have a spray. This was a recommendation of my brother because he said it would just be a waste of your stuff it'll just run down and run underneath the slab and just who knows where to go to so it'd just be a waste so he said to spray some foam either foam or backer rod i think the foam be easier so i went along and and put spray foam all and stuff now we just got to let this cure and it'll expand and stuff and it will take a razor blade and shave it off even with the floor so it's not sticking above and then we can start um mixing and dumping there you go. But I got Tyler on another job. And I'm going to be pouring all this over here too. Um, we've kind of clear. I'm just going to dump a whole bunch in there and level that whole corner and let it all go up underneath those walls and stuff to get some kind of base. Oh, sorry. What are you doing? Stealing one of your beers. Oh. He's digging. Well, actually, he's making my daughter dig, I guess. Such a good. Such a good well look at look at the hole that my daughter has dug. Tyler hasn't done anything. All he's doing is getting beer. Ooh, that's a big deep hole. Four feet exactly. Gonna get below the frost line. But well, we gotta dig some holes. These are gonna be posts for for uh, a little front deck that we're gonna put on here. We're not gonna be building a deck today. Uh, my sister and I think my two brothers, I know one brother for sure, is coming up you know, like in the middle or a couple weeks in October or some. They're gonna come up here to do some projects and so this will probably be one of them that they'll tackle. But Tyler, strong back, can dig holes, but then he's making my daughter do it. Look at this, mm -hmm. such a bad husband. <laughs> Yell at him. <laughs> mostly sand looks like that's a big rock we're nah, not that big huh? those aren't that big the gravel? I see those rocks he was exaggerating he was sounding like they were boulders and those are the rocks he's talking about oh there's a big rock huge that's not yeah while we're let while we're waiting for the foam to dry, I got them digging holes. Yeah, that's not a beer, that's a Pepsi. It's pretty early. Hmm. Fun, fun. All right, guys, we are all prepped. I've cleaned the floor again. And we have cut the foam off so it won't be above the floor or nothing. That should keep the concrete from going down through the big cracks. Got the gem of a you know we never did switch those bolts we should switch some bolts around before we do this so it doesn't tear that thing up well, it's probably already tore up already let's just do it right <laughs> it's a it's the screw gun and stuff 10 millimeter 10 millimeter range zip zip one by one and go around it so tyler is just excited he's even my daughter said he's got his hat on backwards he's ready to work I look like a professional concrete layer. Yeah, he's got his rubber, my got rubber my boots. boots. On. 
Yeah, but what we're gonna do is we got, where'd the stuff go? No, not that, the other stuff that I gave you. No, where'd it go? I don't know where the one I pulled out went. But this stuff here, this stuff here, uh, my daughter's gonna go in front of us and she's going to put this down in a paint tray and then she's gonna go, my brother told me to take a roller, a paint roller, put it on the concrete where the other concrete's gonna be laid on and put this stuff down and make it, just like you're painting it, just put a coat on and then let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes until it starts getting tacky and then dump the other concrete in. Dump it down on there. So as we're mixing, I think what we'll do is we'll mix it and then we'll say, okay, and then she'll paint it. And then as soon as it gets tacky, we're gonna start going at it. And then this stuff here is the stuff, I have a gallon jug at home, but we're gonna mix this in with the concrete. We're gonna dump a little bit in each batch. And we're gonna go from the crack where that is, and we're gonna try to pour it all the way through here. It's kind of low until right about in that spot. And we're gonna kind of come around and pour this whole piece here and fill it from crack to crack. Try to level it up and then pour this little chunk. And we're gonna do that and we're gonna see how much it takes. And I think what we're gonna try is we're gonna try to mix some sand in with it to kind of increase the volume. Uh, there's a sand pit right down the road. We can go down there and get sand. I think I'm gonna mix some sand in with this. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. The guy that I got this from said he never heard of using this stuff for what I'm doing it. He said, maybe it'll work. We'll find out. Three, two, and one. All right, let's see what we can mix up here. I don't know what you want water. Go ahead. Gotta moisten it. You gotta moisten it. <laughs> oh, you sprayed. <laughs> and just so you know, I have named this machine. It is the POS. You guys figure out what that means. Can you full bag right away or just half a bag? Let's just start dumping it in and adding water and adding sand and we'll figure out the mixture, okay? So here we go, here's a lot of noise.
crack. She got a little shoot. Hey, you think I'm on a concrete truck here or something? Looks like it. straight down because I have a tip straight down that's gonna blow up pretty much level I said we just mix up another one right away now you need to get paint you need to do this over here quick try to get in front of this all right I said we just start mixing another one just dump another one in while this one's cooling out We'll turn it over here so we can mix it on this side. Yep. So that's working. Well, guys, we have gotten this part done. We've gotten it done and we've been kind of feathering it in as it dries and stuff. This is just, it's kind of got, it's got water on it. If you've ever done concrete, you know what I mean? It was mixed up pretty thin too. So it flowed out pretty good. <coughs> but it, it is unbelievably better. Um, this is going to be, I was just telling Tyler that if we can get the rest of the floor like, like this, I'll paint this place with a floor epoxy and it'll really look nice in here, but this came out really nice. It's got a little bit of a dip over here. It's, it could use another one in there, but then that's a whole mess that we're getting into. I think trying to blend that in and stuff. So plus it's pouring rain outside, so we can't open the door and uh because water was actually running in here a while ago and to bull float and stuff it... so i think we're just going to leave it because i like i said i don't care if this floor is completely level or not i'm just trying to get these cracks that were all in here and i mean if you guys don't remember that was a huge crack going through here but that's working really well so now we're just gonna be pouring it on those cracks over there the one going on the door and this one and then we're gonna dump some off right in here where the where the POS is sitting and kind of blend that all in and run that down through here. Well guys, we are done pouring. And I gotta say Tyler has worked very hard at this. Um we just were letting it dry now and then we're gonna brush it out and that'll take a lot of imperfections off. Actually the bull flow broke that I rented and so it became a real pain in the butt especially with this part over here we had, he had to hand trowel all this and I mean, he did a pretty good job for hand trawling but we just gotta wait for it to cure up a little bit and then run a uh, brush over it to like over here on these cracks there was you know some lips on there and i've already brushed it this was thicker stuff and it's cured already and it came out great but this is so much better i mean this is actually gonna look good so he did such a fine job that i have to bring him another beer so time. no kidding right and i didn't even shake that one up it was a lot of work but this is gonna be so much better and I've actually poured a foundation around my door, too. Look at this. There was like nothing under that door. We just kept dumping and dumping and dumping until it finally stopped draining down the holes. So now we actually got some concrete under this door. It should hold. And got this corner all fixed up nice and everything. And, uh, I mean, this is so much better. I can epoxy it. I talked about that. Last time I was video on, I was thinking, well, maybe epoxy the floor and everything, because this is really going to come out nice. And by the time we brush it, you're really not going to see the edges and stuff. And you're going to be able to 
put something over this and you're really not going to be able to tell it's patched. Um, you're going to see it's a little bit lower over there and stuff. And it's real high over there by the saw horses and it kind of comes down. But I mean, if you paint this, it's going to look awesome. But if I put epoxy paint in here and say you're snowmobiling and you come walking in here with snow on your boots, woo, that's going to be ice skating. That's going to be some serious ice skating. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to dry. I'm hoping by like Monday, this will be dry. And then I'm going to go get some gray exterior paint. And I'm just going to paint the whole floor with gray exterior paint. And this thing is going to look like a million dollars. Well, at least $15,000. That's what the house costs. It'll look, <laughs> look good for this place. Because I, I don't think I ever really sat back and took a picture of it. I should have with all the big, huge cracks. I don't know I did or not. I think it's on videos. People seen it, but it was crazy bad. And this is so much better. It's going to be so nice with snowmobiles coming in here. And you put the dolly wheels underneath to be able to spin the snowmobiles around my snow bike. Because we always had to pick it up and carry it around. Yep. This way I'll be able to drop it on the dolly and just wheel it around, you know. I mean, yeah, over here. Oh, it was it was crazy over three, there. Three inches. You'd yeah. have to get a running start to get anything over it. Yeah, the, the snow bike, actually, <laughs> I think it was the last time I was up here last year. I got on it, fired it up. <clears throat> I hit the gas and about threw me over the handlebars because one of the carbides got stuck on a crack. <laughs> it almost threw me over the handlebars. So... But this is really nice, so Tyler did a great job. So we're just waiting for it to dry a little bit, and then we can start running a broom across it, and it'll hide a lot of the imperfections. And and then uh, Monday or something, maybe Tuesday, I'll paint it up, and it'll be perfect. So I hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day, great night when you're watching this here video. And if you're not, certainly just try that all over again. Do not do concrete. It sucks. Do not buy a con the Harbor Freight concrete mixer. It worked, but I still think it sucks. And and when you rent a bow float, make sure the bolts are actually long enough. Somebody lost the bolts and put some little short ones in there. There's like two threads, so that broke too. And look at my work area. It was so clean. And then Tyler and my daughter showed up. What happens when you get work done? <laughs> you know, you sound just like Tracy. <laughs> See ya.